Hey guys, I'm Jamie with Moto Nation. Uh, we distribute CD boots as well as VMAR helmets. And today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Crossfire 3. So the new CD Crossfire 3 boot came out um, late 2017. So we're showing it off here at the Enduro Cross Ride Day. Um, some of the main, main differences between the Crossfire 2 uh, is definitely the new sole. It's got the dovetail click sole. Um, it's far less screws to replace. Uh, the, the toe and the heel are now permanent parts of the sole and uh, a different rubber compound for, for more grip, much more comfortable and far easier to replace. Another main difference is the hyperextension block system, whereas uh, the Crossfire 2, uh, it had this kind of soft stop, where now this has a hard stop and you, for you know, flexing, or it would definitely not be hyperextending or overflexing. So, another difference is the height of the boot. Uh, one of the problems of the Crossfire 3, not necessarily a problem, however, uh, you could get it caught in your shrouds. Now it's about two millimeters taller, and so that eliminated that problem. We've still got all the replaceable parts. Everything bolt-on is replaceable, and you could customize your colors with the buckles and the straps and the strap retainers. Um, another difference is the gaiter is about three millimeters longer. So it will, uh, while you can adjust the calf, you couldn't adjust the Velcro. So now it fits any size knee brace and or pads. So the Crossfire 3 SR is the sole replacement version, but then CD also came out with the Crossfire 3 TA, which has the traditional application on the sole where you have to get replaced by a cobbler. So it's got just a little more grip, a little different feel, and it's got the sew on sole. The Crossfire 3 runs 595 retail, and that's the SR version, and the TA version is about 545.